Valentine's Day, and welcome to the most positive show on TV. Today, we are spreading the love with these uplifting people from around the country. I mean, she just really went above and beyond. It was challenging, but it was rewarding. It's the gratitude and the light and starting out your weekend, knowing that you did something that makes a difference. I can already feel the love, and we have so much to share today from a Valentine's Day surprise. I'm going to come bearing gifts. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, bring a smile to these patients' faces because it, it's tough. To a snowy delivery. The pure joy of seeing that snowman, it was just to me, that's what teaching's about. These heartfelt people are uplifting others with their special talents and encouraging words. Just being honest, being real, even when it's not the most easy thing to hear, he'll still say it because it'll lead me into growth and being a better version of myself. What's so heartfelt is that the materials used to make these bears are some of the, the favorite shirts and pants that your loved one wore, right? Absolutely. It's a great way to put them to use, definitely. These are clothes I used to wear. Whenever you hold it, know that I am there. My motto is every stitch is made with love. I love what I do. Loving this. I'm your host, Michelle Macaluso. Welcome. This is Good to Know. You know, it's one of those things where you drive down the street and people just smile. She woke up from her dream and instantly started working. We wanted to give him that gift. It's a new year, there's new beginnings. It has allowed me to see things in a much brighter light, if you will, or colorful world. I mean, it was really good for my journey, too, of just being able to put into action what I wanted to be about and, and who I wanted to be. It's just much more of a special story. We are here, we are here to be a staple for the community, and I don't foresee us going anywhere anytime soon. We begin this uplifting half hour with the woman who's showing love by packing pantries in her Virginia community. Liz Duquette's heart and soul rests on two wheels. We're order based, so we don't pre bag anything. She stocks her custom built refrigerated trailer like the produce section at a supermarket. These, I believe, are 50 pound bags. Liz hatched an idea a few years ago that keeps rolling along. Right now, our biggest success is our mobile produce pantry. This small space is reserved for a big mission. So now we just open up both doors and put people at each end. The woman from Chesterfield is the founder of World Up. There we go. The nonprofit improves access to life improving resources. Carrots like this, we will give out probably two or three just because they're so huge. Liz delivers veggies and fruits to so called food deserts across Richmond about six times a month. We're not just feeding people, we're reducing the burden of having to choose between paying a bill and buying food. Did you need some produce? On this day, the mobile produce pantry sets up shop on the city's north side, where demand is great. This definitely gives more health benefits in the long run. It's red onions too. What makes this mobile pantry special? We give out the produce for free. I will say most people do give donations. We don't request it or even ask. Liz and her team of volunteers say it's vital that people have access to healthy foods. There's no bad way to start out your day if you're giving out food and you're helping people get food. Order of everything, please. Last year, Liz and her organization helped roughly 500 families eat better. Yeah, yeah, take some lollipops. We are here, we are here to be a staple for the community and I don't foresee us going anywhere anytime soon. World Up teams up with Feed More. It's overwhelming and amazing sometimes and without our partners, we couldn't have done it and without our donors, we couldn't have done it. World Up joined Feed More as a partner agency back in 2019 and they are actually our first mobile partner. Rodrigo Ariazo says Liz's efforts and partnership are priceless. Again, you know, having a resource like World Up that really gets out to where you are, gets out to a food pantry near your community, um, and can make that very easy, very, you know, very accessible for you, it makes, it make, means everything. It's usually like the three pound bags with like the small ones. Liz says no person should go without access to fresh produce. 
it's not the food, it's, it's the people. It's the gratitude and the life and starting out your weekend knowing that you did something that makes a difference. Because what's the point of living if you're not making a difference, in my opinion at least. Never in a million years. Being healthy my whole life prior, never, never ever thought. But for Julia Oppmann, cancer became her reality at just 36 years old. You know, I had no idea. I was living on coffee, just thinking I was a tired mama with a two and a four year old at that point. Just before Halloween 2018, doctors diagnosed her with acute myeloid leukemia or AML. Her husband and her kids formed her support system. They're my littlest supporters, but yet my biggest supporters for sure. Oppmann spent a month inpatient at University Hospitals for initial chemotherapy treatments. With her last treatment set for February 2019, she began thinking about Valentine's Day. I'm going to come bearing gifts. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, bring a smile to these patients' faces because it, it's tough. Being there for the holidays, it's it's harder than anybody can imagine. Ottman delivered care packages to patients at UH in 2019 and 2020. The second year, nurses and doctors got gifts too. I think it's different coming from someone who's been there before because I truly can relate. I can relate to what they're going through. And she'd have to go through it again. Oppmann relapsed in the summer of 2020. I was trying to move on, move forward, and it just felt like everything came crashing down yet again. The family relocated to Columbus, where Oppmann received a bone marrow transplant at Ohio State. She lost her job days before their move, but the transplant saved her life. She had recently undergone her transplant um, and then immediately was like, what can I do for others? Dr. Alice Mims, Oppmann's transplant doctor at Ohio State, says mental health is a huge part of patients' care and improvement. The care packages Oppmann handed out at Ohio State in 2021 made a difference for patients. And I think in light of the visitor restrictions as well with the pandemic, um, that made that even more special to have that outside world contact. You're sitting there just day after day and you're not feeling well. Any little thing can truly brighten up day and just, you know, you know, give them a little bit of hope and love and just this care package can truly mean a lot to them. What a great Valentine's Day surprise. And this next care package is being sent with love from snowy Kentucky to sunny Florida. What began as a lesson about weather and snow turned into a hands-on class project overnight. A former Kentucky school teacher who now educates in Florida discovered that only two of her students had ever seen snow. This gave her an idea and she gave her sister in Kentucky a call. So I said, I want you to make me a snowman and I want you to overnight him to me to see if he can make it to the school because I want these children in Florida to see snow. At first, this Danville resident wasn't so sure. So I said to her, we haven't had a measurable amount of snow. I was making every excuse in the world. Um, and I accepted the challenge because I knew that I would never have to live up to it. After early January's big snow came down, Amber Assess thought the idea could be possible. She went into her yard and created Lucky, a Kentucky snowman who got his names in hopes that he'd arrive in Florida safely. So we put him inside uh, the packaging, we wrapped him up in that uh, foil and we put ice packs in, we sealed him up, we put, there was styrofoam around the box. Uh, off he went down to the local UPS store. Lucky traveled over 800 miles in a box just like this one from Kentucky to Tampa. So then we went to the classroom and had the kids open it and just the pure joy of seeing that snowman, it was just to me, that's what teaching's about. Lucky is still a huge hit in the classroom and the school. Robin Hughes says she'll keep getting creative in the classroom because she believes students learn to think outside the box. Anything I can do as a teacher to bring joy to the classroom and also teach them a little something, then it makes it all worth it. And my sister was just the, the greatest partner in crime to help me do that. So he was perfect. Bringing a little snow to the Sunshine State. We still have so much love to spread, and this is extra cute. Look at his little chief's helmet. He just really went above and beyond. Yeah, I know they missed their Super Bowl shot, but this is a super way to spread some love. It was challenging, 
but it was rewarding. It was uh, something that I knew was really special to them. It's good to know.